I have a Sony model XBR 75X 850F and it has no power. So when I try to power it on, we get no standby light whatsoever. So let's open it up and find out why. I've just removed the back cover. If you don't know how to do that, you can check out the video in the top right. Otherwise, let's get started with some voltage checks on the power supply. All right, we're gonna start by plugging it in. And over here on this main connector here, so I'm first gonna start by getting my standby voltage. That's the first one I wanna check for, which is gonna be pin number five. So over here, pin one is at the top, but it's the bottom row. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So that's gonna be our third one down. And that's 3.49. So we do have our standby. Next, I'm gonna to wanna to check on our 12 volt lines, which are pins 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Okay, and I'm checking pin number 14 right now, and we do have our 12 volts. These are all in parallel, so if one of them has 12 volts, that means the rest do as well. I also wanna check our TCON 12 volts, which that's gonna be pins 25, 27, and 28. And I do know this is a 28 pin connector, so I can check this one, which would be pin 27, and that one does not have any voltage. So we don't have any TCON on voltage right now. I'm trying to determine whether or not the lack of 12 volts to the TCON is because of a defective power supply, or maybe it's because the main board is not sending the command for the 12 volts to go to the TCON. So what we're gonna do is trick the power supply into getting that command and see if we can get that 12 volts. So to do that, I'm gonna unplug our power here, and we're also going to actually disconnect our TCON board and the main board. And going back to this connector here, we're gonna do some jumping around on some voltages. So earlier we were looking at our standby, which is pin number five. So it's the third one on the bottom row. I'm gonna insert my jumper here and we're gonna steal the power from that line and give it to the power on line, which is the pin number nine, which is gonna be this one. And then we're also going to give power to the TCON on, which is pin number 26 over here. I'm gonna plug this back in. So right now, just to reiterate, we have our backlights, or sorry, we have our TCON on, we have our power on that are jumped to our standby voltage. So now let's go ahead and plug it back in. And keep in mind, again, we have the main board and TCON disconnected. Now, if we take a look at our TCON on voltage, or sorry, our regular TCON voltage, we do now have our 12 volts. That does clarify that the issue is not coming from the power supply, it's simply the main board is not sending that command. With this TV, there are two different circuit boards that could cause a no power issue that we're experiencing, the power supply board and the main board. Because we were able to get all of the correct output voltages going to the main board and the TCON with our bypass, we know that by default, the power mm. supply is not the issue and thus the main board has to be the cause. There are two parts on this main board that fail and can cause the symptoms we're experiencing. Number one would be the main processor under the white heatsink, which is the least likely of the two and more commonly is the EMMC, which is the chip right here. The processor, however, I can check using my multimeter, using the resistance mode, checking to see if there are any shorts in the surrounding areas. When removing the heatsink, you do wanna be somewhat gentle. So I'm gonna be pinching the clip here with my pliers, needle nose, and then gently pushing it through. We'll go ahead and repeat that four more times. If you put too much pressure and warp the board, you could actually cause some damage to the circuit board. So you wanna be very gentle. Now that we've removed the heatsink from the main board, we can go ahead and do some of our resistance checks. So looking at these capacitors first on the left, we have 97 kilo ohms, and, and we're really just looking for shorts. So typically I'm, I'm looking for like 10, 15, 100 kilo ohms. And there's not necessarily any one in specific that I'm looking at. I'm looking at a bunch of them and I just wanna make sure none of them are shorted. 33 kilo ohms, 5.7, also 5.7, 13.8, 12, 23, this one's showing me OL. Okay, well that's not a short. Actually, this one I think is also in parallel. Yep, so same OL, 11.7. And we'll do just a couple more on this side. That's 23, 33, then OL. And then finally these two, 1.68 kilo ohms. And that one is 1.7 kilo ohms. Right, so no shorts. Um, I don't believe that our processor is defective. So at this point, what I would like to do is replace our EMMC chip down here and then see what we get after that.
I've just installed the repaired main board back in the TV set, so let's go ahead and plug it in and see what we get. And I actually just heard the power supply click, which we did not before. And now we get our amber and green light. So if you don't know how to handle the amber green, check out the video on the top right. We have a full video showing you how to deal with that. I'm gonna be plugging in my pre-programmed flash drive, which once again, if you don't know how to do it, check out that video. And now we're plugging it in again. Let's take a look. And it looks like the pairing is happening because I have my white slowly pulsing lights. So at this point, we'll have to wait about an hour or so and come back to it. After we ran the update, we actually had an error. The TV would not turn on at all. And we had a solid blue ultraviolet light appear on the standby light. So what we did was we replaced the flash drive with a new one, tried it again, and now it's booting up. So taking a look at the screen, we now have our initial setup with the welcome and language selection. If you have a main board with completely dead or cycling issues that you need to send in for repair, we'll have information in the description below. If you found the video helpful or useful, leave us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.